Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics everyone. As you can see here we have uh, got our first greenhouse construction well underway. This is an 8 foot 6 by 24 foot Rion, R-I-O-N, greenhouse kit that we ordered over the internet. The product has been absolutely fabulous to put together. We uh, really didn't have any too, too many challenges putting it up. As you can see we've got the second foundation all ready to go. As soon as we get this greenhouse up and going uh, and get the plants inside and get those going we'll uh, start on the second greenhouse. I want to show you the inside of this house if I can uh, focus our camera appropriately. Inside the house, some of the nice features of this Rion house is the uh, automatic louvered windows. There is a, a metal uh, compound inside these little uh, hydraulic chambers, as I call them, that adjust automatically to the, uh, the outside temperature. So when it gets too hot in the greenhouse, that metal expands and opens and closes those louvers as necessary. Nice feature of this house that we added on. Also, we have... Uh, a couple of exhaust fans that uh, that are up here at the end of the house. You can see the beginning of our our plumbing system that uh, that we're putting in. Uh, this is probably a unique application for the Rainbird uh, sprinkler controller, but we're actually using solenoid valves from a Rainbird sprinkler system and a Rainbird controller to turn valves on and off. Uh, automatically in order to cycle water through a chiller that uh, that we'll be adding on to the greenhouse. It does get rather hot here in Texas in the summertime so that chiller system will actually cool the water reservoir, nutrient reservoirs of each of the six grow systems that we'll have in here on a uh, on a timed basis. There is a valve that opens and a valve that closes uh, for the return for each one of those grow systems. We have also a control box here that allows us to manually cycle those uh, valves on and off as well as control pumps and uh, exhaust fans and other items here in the greenhouse uh, in the event that we want to mix nutrients etc. And we'll show you that as we go along um, in the operation of this, this house as, as we get it underway. We have about a 60 amp feed coming into this house. The chiller and the main pump that drives <coughs> all of the water systems will be on separate circuits. And then the uh, rainbird controllers and the pumps for the grow systems and exhaust fans will be on others. As I said, this is a 8 foot by 24 foot greenhouse. We'll have uh, six monster ebb and flow uh, systems in here. That will grow blueberries, raspberries, uh, blackberries, and on this side of the greenhouse, we'll be growing strawberries and Edmund Flow trays. And uh, as we finish up this house, hopefully this week, we'll begin to show you those systems that will go in place and uh, how they will all tie together and work. We have a 300 gallon water reservoir that will be outside the greenhouse that will take. Uh, county water and run it through an RO system and use that as a main water storage tank for the house. It will feed each of the uh, water reservoirs. We have three 75 gallon reservoirs for our strawberry plants and each of the Eben grow systems have a 55 gallon barrel and underneath down here we will have a 75 gallon mixing tank that will mix nutrients for each of the systems and then distribute them appropriately. So. That's the uh, update on the greenhouse. Uh, looking forward to showing you a lot more. We've been talking about it on our blog at uh, practicinghydroponics.blogspot.com. Check us out. Thanks for visiting. We'll see you next time on Practicing Hydroponics.